Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade um, instant oatmeal packets. My kids love having oatmeal in the morning and um, they get, those packets can get kind of expensive and I don't always have time to cook it on the stovetop. So this is a great alternative. I know exactly what's going into them. I can add a couple extra healthy things and it is going great for us. The kids love them and I love them. So let's see how it's done. Okay, so the ingredients we're going to need to make the actual oatmeal um, packets are just the quick oats and then some salt. And then you can add in whatever you want for the different flavors. We're going to make a brown sugar and cinnamon oatmeal. So I've got my brown sugar and my cinnamon. And also, um, we're going to make some fruit and cream. We're going to make some strawberries and cream. So I've got my dried strawberries and my dried blueberries for my blueberries and cream. And then um, some non-dairy creamer. I'm also going to add some uh, ground flaxseed to boost up the healthiness a little bit. And then we need a one cup measuring cup, uh, a tablespoon, a quarter teaspoon, some snack bags to put the oatmeal in when we're done, and then a little food, process food processor or um, blender. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take four cups of just the regular oats and put it in the bowl. Let me help you scoop it. Kenzie helping me today. Is it two? Two. Three. What number is this? Three. Three. Good job. Oh. Oops. It's all right. We'll clean that up. We need one more. in there just to make up for what spilled all over. Okay, so our next step is to take one cup of oats, you know how we dump it in there, and pour it into your food processor or blender. If you're doing a blender, it recommends um, doing just a half a cup at a time. And then we're going to blend it up. Okay, and then we are going to take that off and dump it into this bowl. And since we are doubling the recipe, we're going to do that one more time. That yeah, Mom. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and dump hey, that in the bowl. Out. You going to help me dump it Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm just going to, um, I dumped out some of the dried strawberries, and I'm just going to give them a rough chop to get some smaller pieces for our oatmeal. strawberries to a bowl here. And then I'm going to get my blueberries out and do the same. Blueberries! Blueberries! Do you like to eat one? Yeah. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Nummy, nummy, nummy. <laughs> 
Alright. Thank you. Me? Okay, and then to fill the bags of oatmeal, you use a quarter cup of the regular unpowdered oats, two tablespoons of the powdered oats, about an eighth teaspoon of salt, and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of ground flax seed as well. And then we're gonna get all these filled up and then we'll come back and add the flavors. Okay, to make the brown sugar and cinnamon, instant oatmeal. I take my mixture um, and then I'm going to add one tablespoon of brown sugar and one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we will seal that and mix it up. And it should be ready to go. Okay, and then to get the fruit and cream oatmeal, we're going to add one tablespoon of this non-dairy creamer. And then for the blueberry oatmeal, we will add two tablespoons of these chopped dried blueberries. And for the strawberry oatmeal, we'll do one tablespoon of non-dairy creamer and two tablespoons. Yep, we're gonna help in just a second. And then two tablespoons of dried chopped strawberries. I'm going to finish filling those bags up. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and taken a Sharpie and um, labeled my bags. I've seen that you can use washi tape or get as fancy as you want with it. I just went simple. I put an S for strawberry, a B for blueberry, and a BSC for brown sugar and cinnamon. And then I stuck them in this basket that I have for my um, store-bought instant oatmeal that hopefully I will not have to buy anymore. Um, and I will let you know how this goes tomorrow morning with the kids.